Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I want to say welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. I want to first start off by saying thank you for clicking onto this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Please make sure if you have not already, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any more of my uploads. So let me first start off by a little backstory. Now, being financially free was never taught to me as a young girl. Growing up, I was in a single parent home. My mom was basically like, just survive. So in that sense, being financially free and being debt free without having any credit cards or any type of debt was never taught to me. So becoming financially free was something that I had to research and I had to learn for myself. So the first thing that I did was I changed my mindset. Number one thing, you have to change your mindset. I was in a place, just like most of you here watching this video, I was in a place to the point where I said enough is enough. I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck, um, no savings, behind on bills, uh, I'm just tired. I was fed up and something had to give. So in the process of being fed up, <laughs> I began to research. I began to research. I began to look for answers. So in my process of searching, I came across Dave Ramsey. For those of you who don't know who Dave Ramsey is, he is huge in the debt-free community. He teaches seven steps to becoming financially free. I literally began to saturate and drown myself into um, watching just podcasts and listening to Dave Ramsey's uh, radio show and I just drowned myself. I followed every hashtag that had to do with any type of budget. So after doing all of that, I began to get a little bit of motivation going. So the second thing I did was I pulled up my credit report. I pulled my credit report from all three credit bureaus. For those of you who want a free credit report, just go to annualcreditreportibelieve.com and you can pull that once a year for free. So I pulled my credit report and I just began to write down every single thing that I owed. And I came up with a number of debt. Now, don't get me wrong, it was very, very overwhelming and I'm not gonna lie, I, I just literally, I wanted to cry. But at the same time, I was determined. So the third thing that I did was I created a budget. Once creating my budget, I realized that, okay, I need to cut some things back. My, my budget was in the negative and I knew that, okay, where can I cut back? So the first thing I did was pull my bank statements and went back and backtracked for three months. I cut back all my subscriptions. I had magazine subscriptions. Just things that, uh, apps on my phone that I was not even using, I had deleted the apps. Once I realized how much I was spending monthly just on subscriptions, I freed up $100. After getting on the phone and making all phone calls to um, subscriptions and just cutting that out, I then looked at my spending habits. Going through those drive throughs two, three, four times a week, it wasn't worth it. So immediately I cut back on my spending. I began to meal plan. I began to make a grocery list that was something that I never really did. I began to cook more often. I just became gazelle intense. Once I cut back on all of my spending habits, I cut back on subscriptions. Now I had about $300 or over $300 to spare and to throw towards my debt. Also, I almost forgot the cable bill. The cable bill was one of the first things that I completely cut out. I was spending over a hundred and something dollars just for cable and we just didn't watch TV. My son, he had a PlayStation, so we would just watch movies or he would watch movies through the PlayStation. So now that I had over $300 in my budget, I began to really, really get motivated. 
I kept telling myself, I can do this, I can do this. It was like that little light that I can see. I can barely see it. It's almost there, but it's like, I'm almost there at the end of the tunnel. I can see the light. So I just, I kept focused. So the next thing that I did was I wanted to generate more income. So I would sign up for every single overtime that there was at work. Every extra money that I was getting, I was just putting it towards debt, putting it towards extra payments. First of all, the things that I was behind on, I was paying that those things off first. The next thing that I did was I took a walk around my house, literally just took a walk around my house and began to think of things that I can begin to sell. No lie, I had my bedroom set <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace. I went through my closet, everything in my closet, everything in my son's closet that had a tag on there, oh, that went up for sale immediately. I began selling things. At the time, I started couponing. In the process of couponing, I began to have a stockpile. It was a lot of items from couponing that I was not even using. I went in my garage and I put up an ad or whatever in the Facebook mar marketplace and I began to sell my coupon items. So everything <laughs> that I can possibly think of to generate an income, an extra income, I did it. And I'm telling you, I didn't just post my our clothing on one site. I posted on Facebook Marketplace. I had it on Offer Up. I had it on Macari, Macardi, I think it's called or something like that. I had uh, basically four or five different outlets um, um, of selling clothing. I had all of our clothes on there. Another thing that I did to generate money was I signed up for Uber, Uber Eats, DoorDash. One of the things that Dave Ramsey suggests is stopping your 401k. Yes, I did. I stopped my 401k. Not for long, but I stopped my 401k. I also called my cell phone company and I cut back on the things that I was not using. I cut back on the insurance policy that I had. I cut back, I think we had like an unlimited service plan. I cut back on that. So I dropped my phone bill at least about $50. I packed a lunch every day for work. I stopped buying breakfast and lunch in the cafeteria at work. To save on gas, I wouldn't go anywhere. Um, normally on the weekends, my family lives about 30 miles from my home and I didn't see my family. I stopped completely driving there. I had to save gas, so that's what I did. So then as the months went on, I began to feel a little bored. And so what I would do is, I, I, I guess I will make another video on that, but um, I would just rearrange my house. I will rearrange my house. I would take pictures down from certain areas and I would just put it in on the other side. I just got creative in my home and I began to love being home. Whereas before, I would just get in my car and just go. All of those steps that I took, I basically began to see that my debt was just slowly going down, going down, going down. And each time I paid something off, I just got more, more and more motivated. I was gazelle intense. Right now, I'm currently halfway through my debt-free journey and I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I only have um, student loans that I need to get rid of and my goal for 2020 is to pay off all of my student loans. So hopefully guys, this video has motivated you. Hopefully my testimony will bring you to your testimony one day. And that's the ultimate goal here. Um, thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for allowing me to share my journey with you guys. Actually, I'm still on my journey. I'm still working guys. And if you're at that point to where I was a few months back, then trust me, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Please make sure you turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any more of my uploads. 
and I'll see you guys in a later one. Bye.